Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Um, well, uh, quite a while. Well, except for YouTube because um, I've been watching, as I suppose a lot oh, of you have. At the backyard. Uh, ignore her. I have been watching the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. <laughs> And it has affected me personally for a very personal reason. And it has angered me, but not at him. It's angered me at her because she took something very, very important, very... <laughs> personal and twisted it and used it to her own means and I am going to go through using only what I've heard and seen and point out how I know without question not talking about the verdict or any of that and I waited until after the verdict so nobody could say, Oh, she influenced the verdict. No. I, no. I'm going to point out how I know, without a doubt, that it was all acting and, and extremely poor acting at that. She was trying to portray a character she didn't know how to portray because she's never been in that situation. You can't just mentally put yourself in that situation if you've never been there. You can't. You can't mentally you can't mentally put yourself there if you don't understand if you I, I just you can't mentally put yourself there if you've not been there that's the simplest way to say it and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna lay it out and I'm gonna start with the tapes number one and every survivor will understand this. Every survivor will understand this. On almost every single tape that I've listened to, she's taunting him. In one form or another, she's taunting him. And every survivor knows. You don't taunt. You don't taunt. The only reason you would taunt your assailant is if you're asking for a beating. You just don't taunt. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my train of thought. <laughs> I, um... This is very difficult for me to <laughs> go back into these memories. Um, you don't taunt your assailant. You don't do that. Everybody knows that. And she did. Time and time again, she did it. Matter of fact, I remember in one <laughs> tape, she was actually cackling manically almost psychotically cackling. It's actually a little frightening, but uh, I hate I'm not going to I keep getting these uh, uh, I'm not going to be doing matches today. 
um, I'm talking about, um, uh, I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, uh, Jesus. Anyways. And then there's the, the slap. Well, she claims it was just a slap. He, right out, says that she punched him. Which I would tend to believe him. Uh, hello. Um, but, um, unless you're actually in the middle <laughs> of defending yourself and even then it's kind of like iffy waters you you don't you don't strike your assailant because then then things get really dicey um, the um uh Jonathan, are you ready to talk about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? <laughs> okay. Um, you you don't want to look your assailant in the face unless unless you're forced to. You don't want to look at that face. You don't want to have to look at that face, and if. You don't have to look at the face you don't want to. That's the face that hurts you. And like he whispered to his lawyer when she said, he can't. He leaned over and whispered to his lawyer, I don't want to. Why would you want to? That's the, the face of the person that hurts you. That's just how it goes. And to Elaine. How dare you? How dare you? I understand you were doing your job in the courtroom. Okay, that's fine. I did not fault you for that. I haven't said a single word about that. I haven't even made a TikTok about it. I haven't made fun of you about it. That was your job. Okay? But for you to go on TV... And blame the jurors for seeing her lies? And accusing jurors of breaking the law? Hmm. How dare you? Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Johnny did not set back women's rights. Johnny did not set back the ability of women to report assaults. The jury did not set back women's rights. And the jury did not set back women's ability to report. Amber did that. And she concocted this whole mess. And believe you me, she concocted this whole mess. Um, Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. Not for taking the job. No. You've got to work. I understand that, Elaine. But for this morning... The Today Show? What you said? You know better.
and we have the documents from the UK. We're not stupid. And I am a survivor. You think as an actual survivor that I cannot pick out someone trying to play a survivor? Hmm? It's not something that you can just, like I said in the beginning of this live, it's not something that you can just imagine. Sorry. Um, I'm not out for money right now. I'm out for a message. An important message. Uh, I wish I had some people in here, though. But I do plan on adding this. I'm on my phone right now, so I don't have the, the clips and recordings to share. Um... But, um, Elaine, how could you go on TV and claim such a sweeping victory in the UK when it wasn't even her victory, it was the son's victory? She was just a witness. Yes, I know the article was about her and Johnny, but she was a witness. So nothing that she said could be fought by Johnny. And you know that. They would not let him fight anything that she said. She was a witness. She did not act like a victim or survivor. On the tapes, nor in the courtroom. Heck, she couldn't even shed a tear. I mean, <laughs> let's set aside the fact she got her testimony from, uh, sorry, whoever that was, I, um, I don't think so. I'm not. <sighs> Hello? Hey. You ready to talk about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know much about him, but I know I know Johnny Depp from the movies. I'm talking about it from an actual survivor point of view. Okay, yeah, I, I would like to hear what you, I would like to hear. I'm sitting here talking about, well, my first point was how on the tapes, Amber was taunting him. Do you remember that? She called him a um, baby. On the tapes? She, yeah, on the, the recordings. Okay. Yeah, I didn't follow it. I didn't follow the story much. I, I just I know Johnny Depp from the movies, but I didn't follow it much. Well, in in the court they played a lot of recordings and on 
just about every recording, she was taunting him in one form or another. On one tape, she actually admitted to hitting him. Oh, wow. And she said, um, I'm sorry, I, no, she said, I didn't punch you, I slapped you. I'm sorry I didn't slap, no, she said, I hit you. I'm sorry I didn't slap you across the face in a proper slap, but you're fine. And she called him a baby. Now, the, I mean, first, I... rule, the first rule, the first cardinal rule of surviving an assailant in, in that relationship you don't taunt your assailant in yeah, under I, I any circumstance. I would you agree. Don't your, you don't taunt. In another recording, she was laughing manically and and talking in this weird sort of um, high pitched uh, taunting little voice. You know, like she was talking down to him and it's like what is wrong with this woman and it occurred to me she's the assailant so the assailant the, the assailant is the victim or what is the assailant the, Assailant is the one that's doing the, the beating up. So he's the victim. Yeah. He's the only one that ever came out of that re relationship with actual wounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. He had the tip of his finger uh, smashed off with a vodka bottle that she threw at him. There's pictures of him with a black eye and scratches across his nose. That was from their honeymoon when they were on the Orient Express. Wow. Yeah, there's there's plenty of evidence of him having wounds. The only quote unquote evidence that she showed were pictures that she took and uh it was proven by experts that these pictures were doctored. You said the pictures they, was what? The pictures were doctored. They were put through a uh, editing pro uh, oh, editing wow. program. Yeah, one one of the pictures was basically she she submitted two pictures. They were the exact same picture. But one of them, she raised the saturation on it so much that her face was reddened. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because I, I just seen on the news that um, that the case was over or they ruled, yeah. in, they ruled in his favor, maybe. Yeah. So now being that is that like, so is the case completely over now? Yeah. Wow. And he's a free man. Well, he was never going to go to jail. He was suing her for um, uh, an article she wrote in the Washington Post for defamation. And specifically three statements in that article she was suing him for i mean i mean he was suing he was suing her for and he was suing her for 50 million well she decided <coughs> he decided to sue her, um she decided to sue him for some stuff that his lawyer said and she decided to sue him for double so she decided to sue him for 100 million oh And then she shows up and gets on the stand and she trying. I don't know if you've seen these TikToks about her. My dog stepped on a bee. 
she actually said that on the stand and made that face. No what? joke. And the the TikTok where it says, uh, I walked out of the room and he slapped me and I turned around and looked at him. She actually said that. How do you walk out of a room and somebody slaps you and then you turn around and look at them? Think about that. Just, just think about that sentence. Yeah, that don't sound, it don't sound correct. Exactly. Then she says, we were sitting on the couch and I was sitting on the edge of the couch and I was sitting on the, the, the carpet. She, she, she went from, we were sitting on the couch. I was sitting on the edge of the couch. I was sitting on the carpet. It went just like that. what the world exactly but setting that aside i mean she just there were so many inconsistencies in her language she couldn't sh shed a single tear no wow. matter how hard she tried no matter how hard she tried and believe you me she tried she was, tried. Was she older than him? To the point. No, she's younger than him. Wow. Because I, I mean, like I said, I, I, I seen Johnny Depp movies and I really enjoy his movies. But I never knew her. I I never, I never knew her at all. Nobody knew who she was until this trial. Because I always thought he was a single now, man. If she, if she had gone away when they got married and been happy with the 7.1 million that she got in a divorce and worked on her acting skills and decided, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, just, if she had done that, then eventually she might have gotten better at acting and she may have been okay. But now she's gonna be unemployable. Because nobody is going to watch anything with her in it. Therefore, I cannot think of a single director that is going to make a movie and cast her in it. Because who's, who, who's going to make a movie knowing that it's going to lose money? I mean, who's who's gonna make a movie, put her in it, spend all that money on the movie, knowing they're gonna l lose money just because yeah. she's in it? Who's gonna do that? Yeah, you're right about that. You definitely have a point there. They like their money too much. They're not gonna lose money just for her. Very true. They're not going to sacrifice their money just for her. It, it ain't going to happen. And Do if she got... thinks it is, she's delusional. Then, I mean, being that, I don't know, I feel like being that she has a sacred child now, you know, with her trying to sue him, it kind of all makes sense that she would try to do that to him. No, it, as as a mother and a survivor, no, it, it doesn't make sense because as a mother and a survivor, 
I have done everything in my power to protect my children from what I've been through. I do everything I can not to let my children know what I've been through, even though they, they know the bare minimum basics. I, I avoid the topic around them. You know what I'm saying? Right, correct. Because that's something that you, you don't want your children to have to go through. Yet, even though her child is only a year old, this is something that was televised because Johnny Depp's like, okay, you've put my children through this for six years. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and push to have this televised so you can't hide behind the media, which the media was behind her. Okay? Right. So, so if, she, if she had the court closed and only letting the media uh, talk about what was going on, then the pu court of public opinion would have still have been behind her. Whether he won or won the case or not, the court of public opinion would have still been behind her. Because we would have not been able to see what was happening in the court. We would have not been able to hear the tapes. We would have not been able to understand what was going on. Oh, wow. So you're you're basically saying that you know um Johnny Depp um he was he was right for suing her but yeah. it was more like it was more like a revenge with her trying to sue him for her it was it was revenge for him the only reason he sued was to clear his name that was the only way to get it in the courts. And he pushed to have it nationally covered on TV. And that was the only way to clear his name. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And to even as as of today, she is still pushing this narrative. And if I was him, oh, I would put actual charges against her and her lawyer because her lawyer went on TV today, on the Today Show, and she put out a statement yesterday as soon as the case was over and put out a statement that was even worse than the Washington Post article. Oh, wow. Because isn't that like defamation or something? That's what he sued her for. And then she went out and put a statement out after she lost the case that was worse than the original article. Oh, wow. Um, where, where was where was she from? Do you do you know where she was from? Like what state she was from? Uh, Texas, I believe. And Johnny Depp, he's from Georgia, correct? Uh, uh, no, um, Kentucky, I believe. Okay, so and she's from Texas. I'm just John, I, I, Johnny Depp, I believe, is from Kentucky. He wanted yeah. his life back. Because he's a good person. I think he's a good person. You and know. An another thing that Umbrella Guy said on YouTube is that this was a YouTube movement case without the Me Too. Oh, wow. You know, you know, back with all of the Me Too cases, you know, somebody would come forward, like with the Harvey Weinstein. You remember that? Oh, and yeah. And everybody came out of the woodwork. Remember that? 
Oh, yeah. Well, she came out against him, and <laughs> nobody else came out against him. As a matter of fact, several years ago, she sent a private investigator out to go look up dirt on him. Wow. When they got divorced, she sent a private investiga investigator out to go look up dirt on him. And if you want to go look it up, uh, that umbrella guy on YouTube, he's got a video on this. And this investigator interviewed a hundred people. And this hundred people had nothing bad to say about Johnny Depp. They had nothing but glowing things to say about Johnny Depp. But several of them had some pretty bad things to say about her. Wow. Wow. She ended up firing this guy. <laughs> she ended up firing this guy because he found out some bad things about her. Wow. Was, was this able to be said in court or no? No. They wouldn't allow it. Oh, wow. He wouldn't allow it. He wouldn't allow it. I don't know if it was Johnny Depp's team wouldn't allow it or not, but um, it wasn't allowed in court. But yeah. uh, that umbrella guy, sure enough, put it on his channel. It was hilarious. Mm -hmm. You know, she should be looking at Johnny Depp like, you know what? He's a wonderful man. He is. And every one of his exes, ex-girlfriends, his ex-wife, all of them have nothing but good things to say about him. That's where the, the Me Too movement without the Me Too, that's where that comes in, you know? Because if he had committed any kind of violence against anybody, they would have come forward. But there was only one other person that came forward and all she had to say was that when they dated for almost a year, she came over one time and he threw a bottle in her direction. Not at her. Not at her. But near her. Oh, wow. But not at her. Oh, wow. You know, um, I'll say violent, violence is never the answer. Um, but like you said, you know, even if he threw it in her direction, you know, he could have been upset at the time, maybe. Um, and, you know, like I said, violence isn't the answer, but you know, if he wasn't, you know, if he could have been upset. No. My guess is that what was in her vicinity and the direction was there was a trash can probably about a foot off from where she was. And he was aiming at that trash can. How much you want to bet? You know that that sounds that sounds very that sounds very valid. I could definitely agree with you on that. I very I really like that answer. And but, um, Amber um uh, at one point said that when they was uh getting her about punching him in the face at the top of the stairs of the penthouse. She said that she did it in defense of her sister because she was claiming that he was about to push her sister down the stairs. And she said, in her words, I just thought of Kate Moss in the stairs, claiming that she heard a rumor that he pushed Kate Moss down the stairs. Well, towards the end of the trial, his lawyers asked him about this rumor. And this is after uh, Kate Moss had come on via mobile link and talked to the court. 
and basically said that no he he didn't push me down the stairs kick me down the stairs or throw me down the stairs it was a rainy day and i was walking down the stairs and slipped and he ran to my aid and carried me to my room and got me medical attention oh wow and so she she kind of blew Amber's uh, accusations out of the water just with that statement. And then after that, they called him back up to the stand and his lawyers asked him about, uh, about the rumor. And he said that during uh, some vacation or something and something had reminded him about him and Kate Moss and the Bahamas and he told Amber about that trip and how Kate Moss had fallen down the stairs because the stairs were so wet and she took that incident and twisted it into something ugly And you remember I told you I've been watching this on the uh, That Umbrella Guy channel and after the trial ended for the day, That Umbrella Guy said, well, that explains a lot. He said that he had been looking for that rumor everywhere and he said that he couldn't find it anywhere. And it's because the rumor came from Johnny Depp telling Amber about the Bahamas and she made up the rumor. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. And the first time she told that quote unquote rumor story was during the Sun case in the UK when he was suing the the rag mag the Sun in the UK for calling him a wife beater. He lost that case in the UK because she was just a uh, witness and he could not uh, refute anything she said in the UK. Wow. Because she was just a witness. Wow. And they have different rules and, and stuff in the UK. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you on that. Definitely. So when was this case? I never heard about this. Uh, the UK case, I believe, was 2020. I believe it was 2020. Oh, wow. I could be wrong. My mind is still reeling right now. I'm, I'm still messed up in the head from the stuff that Elaine said this morning. Uh, so, so the, um, so what it ended this morning? No, it, it ended yesterday. Um, Elaine, Amber's lawyer, went on the Today Show this morning and said that um, Johnny Depp and his lawyers set back women's rights and um, affected women's ability to report by years. And it was the jury, she said, the jury set back women's rights and their ability to report. And she said that she accused the jury, accused the jury of going home and looking at the internet. Now that's a crime. Oh yes, oh yes. She accused the jury of a crime on TV. 
on the Today Show, she accused the jurors of a criminal act. Simply because that brat did not get her way. Because she couldn't have did this while the case was going right. She couldn't have said this about them. No. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Simply because Amber did not get her way. Amber didn't win. So that made Elaine upset. Yes. Because if she uh, if she if if um, Amber would have won the case, then Elaine still get paid too, right? Yes. What? So if they lost the case, do Elaine still get paid? Yes, but I would imagine that Elaine and um, well, I don't know about the guy. Um, Ben Rottenborn, I, I don't know if I would go into to law with that name. I swear I don't know if I would go in. I don't know if I'd go into any kind of business with that name, Rottenborn. <laughs> it, it, it took all I had when Johnny was up there <laughs> on the stand, bless his heart. He had such composure. Even during the difficult times, but when Rottenborn was up there questioning him, every time he said, okay, Mr. Rottenborn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I hear you. I definitely hear it now. I hear it. That took all I had not to laugh. <laughs> Rottenborn. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Rottenborn, but you you need to do something. Um, if I was you, I would go and um, get a stage name. Oh yeah, correct, very correct. Cause Rottenborn, yeah, that is. Yeah, uh, like better call Saul. You no, know, get a stage name. That's that's not a very good name. Yeah, okay. <laughs> certainly not. Anyway, but um, Rottenborn, he he did a little better than Elaine. But Elaine, mm. I have a feeling that um, she's in trouble with her firm. Oh, because the questions that she came up with, the um, the way she presented questions was leading, speculative. It was very. First year, I mean, like if you was like a first year associate, or even an intern in a law firm, <coughs> I mean, it's not the kind of questions that, uh, A seasoned attorney should be asking. And her favorite questions started off as what if any? What if any? And then like, hmm. And finally the judge said had to tell her, what if any is not a cure-all to your <laughs> question. The judge had to straight up tell her that's not a cure all. Wow.
because she kept trying to to ask leading questions and speculative questions. She kept trying to to sneak stuff in there. <laughs> wow. So, but getting back to the the crux of it, the couple. She did not on the tapes nor in the court she even though she tried to present herself as a victim in the court and i was saying this in the beginning of my life i don't know if if i said it when you was on here or not you cannot I don't care how good of an actor you are you cannot truly portray that kind of emotion if you've not ever been in that situation it's like watching rihanna when Rihanna was telling her story about Chris Brown. She was, she had a, you see how I have this straight face right now? And that's because I'm, I'm trying to keep my composure because I, I still have all these memories that I'm trying to keep at bay in my head. Okay. The things that I've been through. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. And there's a lot of things that I, 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 I'm constantly battling with trying to keep it bay. It's not easy. But this woman, she did something that not I or any victim or should I say survivor because if you make it to that point you make it to court you're a survivor you're, you're not a victim anymore you're a survivor none of us at that point would feel safe or comfortable enough to show that She she tried to act like she was hyperventilating and crying and blubbering and she couldn't shed a tear, but she tried to act like she was just in so much pain and torture and torment. But no survivor would ever do that. Sure, we we might a few tears might sneak out in court in the beginning. <laughs> and <laughs> I have to make myself laugh because if I don't, then I'm gonna allow no, myself to think too much. No, no, you have a good method there. That's a that's a, you have a you do it the right way. I like the way you do it. Um, but uh, in the beginning, when it's still fresh, you go into court. A few tears might sneak out, but for the most part, you try to stand there and you you. Mostly, you're trying to avoid, your whole face is trying to avoid the assailant. Because if you, if you allow eye contact with that assailant, you're giving them power. You're giving them power. 
can't do that, especially not in court. Because if you actually look at them, they can do this. What is that the screen face? No, that that's the stare. That's the I will kill you stare. Oh. And that's oh. what my ex was doing to me in court. That was the I will kill you when I get my hands on you. Oh, wow. And that's what she was doing to him on the stand, but he never looked at her when she was doing that. Oh, God. Because you seem like a very nice lady, but that look you just did, I was like, what is that, the serious stare? I've got, I have received that stare many a time, so I know how to replicate it. So in the courthouse, is is it, you saying it's, it's good to, to do that look or the person that's, the person that's being looked at that way, is it good for them to look them in the eye? No. The, the survivor is going to, like Johnny did, he was looking down. Or like me, I was looking down or I would look to the side when I was in court. Okay. See, my my ex was over to the side at the other table. So I would look like this. I would look the opposite way. Or if I had to look at the judge, I would have the bailiff that was standing right here beside me, I would have him step up in between me and my ex to block my vision. So what is that more, is it like intimidating or something? Very. Oh. Because, because I would remember like when I was still with him, out in public, if I was to drop something or not walk fast enough or walk too fast or do something wrong, I would get that look. And when I got that look, I knew what that meant. When I got home, that was a beating. Wow. Oh, wow. Because that look was very serious look. Now, if you notice, well, you didn't watch it, but Johnny spent his time drawing. That was his way of exercising his mind on something to because he knew she was sitting over there staring him down Correct. and she was she Correct. was and the only way to keep from thinking about that is to busy your mind on something intently now, when I was in court, I didn't have that opportunity because we were told to stand in our spots. So I couldn't busy my mind on anything except for making sure I was standing up. It was difficult to stay standing. I was shaking so much. But she, she did not behave on the tapes or in court. She did not behave like a victim or survivor she wow. behaved she behaved like an assailant wow she had she had an intimidating attitude she was forceful And her performance, let's put it this way. 
when she was being questioned and she would go from tortured and then there was an objection and when there was an objection she would go to straight faced now who does that if if yeah. you're in the middle of crying you can't and immediately go from crying to what wait i've got to stop crying there's an objection you gotta stop crying you don't do that wow you don't do that wow and she did that multiple times wow You know, next time I watch a court case, I'm gonna have to kind of study the people and kind of read them and kind of see what's going on in the movements. Cause that's amazing that you you was able to you know to um kind of put that pick that out and pick her apart that way. You know, I, and I'm I, I mean the judge the judge got to see it. I would think the judge got to see her. Well the judge can't really do anything about it the judge only the judge only sets forth the rules of the court and make sure everybody is doing things according to the rules of the court see what i'm saying yeah, yeah the the judge the judge is sort of like the referee between the lawyers that's sort of what the judge is. Okay. The ones that really needed to be paying attention, and of course they did, was the jury. The jury's the ones that needs to be paying attention to, like I said, the way, you know, she was in the middle of crying, there was an objection, and she goes, from who? I mean, it was like an automatic reset. Wow. Wow. And she did it time and time again. Wow. And then if she could answer the question, she went right back to her tortured A normal person doesn't do that. If you're crying, if you're in the middle of crying and, and there's a question, there's an objection, you're just, you're crying. You may, during the the objections, you may grab a tissue and, and wipe your eyes, you know, clean, try to clean yourself up, but you, you don't reset. But People need to start getting their priorities straight. And one priority they need to drop is Amber Heard. <laughs> and she needs to be dropped like a bad habit because she, she is the one that has messed up women's rights she is the one that has set back uh reporting for women in um situations like this she's the one that that that's messed it up she's the one that set it back Hopefully, not too terribly bad, because hopefully, everybody has switched this around to, okay, we've come to the realization that not only women are victims, but also men can be victims, like Johnny, 
Correct. And so it's don't just believe all women. Sure, we we believe women, but men too. Correct. Because when a man says, and it's harder for men to come forward. Because like she said, like she said on one of her tapes, go ahead, Johnny, go ahead. Go out there and tell them, I, Johnny Depp, a man, am a victim of domestic violence. Go ahead, go out there and tell them, tell the jury, tell the judge, see who believes you. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And you know, I, I would think that um her lawyers, um, such as Elaine, they probably kind of knew that too. They probably felt the same way she was feeling like, oh yeah, tell them to go out there and go ahead and say that stuff. Cause it seemed like it'll work against him and steady for him. And at the end of that, she said, go ahead and go ahead and tell him it was a fair fight. So in her eyes, he wasn't a victim. No, it was a fair fight. Because a man can't be a victim in her eyes. Right. And in Elaine's eyes, apparently, a man can't be a victim. And Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. So I'm going to take this. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take this uh, live when I'm done, and when they when they uh, let me download it, I'm going to put it on my YouTube page. Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I mean it. The truth, the truth need to be heard, and you made a lot of key points um, throughout the live. You know that some people probably miss, and they just didn't understand it. You know, far as you gave me some understanding on some point on some point keys that I didn't know about. Um, and so I think it'll be a great thing to do. You know, it it it's um I would call it the helping hand. For the next Amen. person, you know, for you know, like you said, there's guys that could be, you know, could be, um, could be the victim. Um, See, I have, I have seen legal analysts on YouTube analyze this case, rightfully so. I have seen behavior analysts, body body language analysts analyze this case, rightfully so. Um, behavior analysts, people that, that analyze uh, behavior, fine, I've, I've seen mental health uh, professionals analyze it. I've seen people from all sorts of professions analyze this case and the people in it. What I had not seen, what I have not seen is an actual survivor, an actual survivor come in and talk about this case. Now I don't have many, I, I, I don't have but like I think three subscribers on my YouTube, but I'm going to work on that, but I'm going to put this on my YouTube for, and I'm going to put tags on it about Johnny Depp and I'm going to put it open to anybody that wants to see it. I'm going to put it open on YouTube so that, you know, anybody, you know, it doesn't have to be just a subscriber that can see it on YouTube. You know what correct. I mean? Correct. Correct. But, um, I think it, I think it valuable for, for, for somebody to see a perspective from a survivor, especially after what Elaine said this morning, 
because that really angered me. That really, ang especially what she said about the jury. Accusing the jury of a crime. That really angered me. That's not right. Definitely not. And that's low down and dirty, just right up Amber's alley. <laughs> I mean, it was revenge from the beginning, so y'all would definitely agree with you. Yeah, you know. I, I, even though people had fun taunting and teasing Elaine on TikTok and, and all of this, I, I didn't make any TikToks about her. Of course, I haven't been on TikTok probably since the probably since the case began. Um, but it was her job, and I held high respect for her and for Ben Rottenborn. I held respect for them because it was their job. But now, after this morning, that woman lost all my respect. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I hear you. I definitely hear that. You don't talk about us survivors like you're you're standing there for us survivors. That brat ain't standing there for me. He ain't <laughs> representing me. Uh-uh. No. No. Amber is representing Amber. Elaine is, is representing Amber. Correct, correct. None of them representing me. Ain't none of them representing me. I got myself through my situation. Amber didn't help me through my situation. Elaine <laughs> didn't help me through my situation. Okay, preach. Don't don't come up in here with your fake allegations accusing Johnny Depp of the crap you pulled nearly cutting his his finger off well no you, you did you, you cut the tip of his finger off beat the man down have him yanked out of his movies beat his career down he looked like a shadow of himself up there on the stand. And then say that you're sad for what they did to women. No, Amber, you did this to women. You need to go find yourself a hole and stay there. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really getting heated right now. I'm really getting heated. I mean, but you, like you said, you don't, you know, from someone that been in similar situations, you know, you understand it more than someone that haven't. Yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, I was actually in the situation. She was never in that situation. She was the cause of the situation that Johnny was in. She was the aggressor. Oh. She was never the victim. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I definitely see what you mean. She was never the aggressor. I mean, I mean, she was never the victim. She was the aggressor. She was the one being the bully. She was the one throwing the punches. She was the one throwing the the, the vodka bottle that that uh, cut off the tip of his finger. 
Oh, Johnny Depp. Oh, I, oh, that right yeah. there. Is, that right there almost sickens me. Like she threw a bottle and cut and cut a piece of his finger off. Like, like I had a job before that that I was working, and I cut off the tip of my finger. So I just know, you know, the the um. You know it, and especially with him being where he's at, an uh, actress, and you know he got to he got to live up his reputation. And me, I'm here a regular guy, but I still got to be around these people, and it just made me feel so so. Um, I would say not so much confidence in myself because I had this a piece of my finger that was cut off. But Johnny Depp, he 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 got to maintain. Uh, um, a reputation and where her doing that you know that that could cause so much pain and agony for a person and she didn't look at it that way no she's very wrong she's very wrong and now she's trying to use a subject that is too important to play with the way she's playing with it. Oh. And she needs to be stopped. Her and Elaine. They need to be stopped. And I'm hoping by doing this live and by putting it on YouTube, I'm hoping by after doing this live and when I when I get it on YouTube, I'm hoping that I can get enough people. I, I'm hoping that enough people can stop them. I'm hoping we can stop them because she's using the wrong subject to play with this is this is not a ipv and dv is it's very serious oh yes oh yes And to use it as a weapon falsely, it's, it's, it's wrong. And that's what she's done. And I can't, I can't just sit by and let her, and I'm hoping that other people can also do the same as me and stand up and say no more. Well, like I said, you know, with, with you doing this live, this is part of stepping, this is like a step one, maybe even a step two, because you step into the situation, you know, and this is, it's going to go a long way. I know. But um so you definitely did your part. You definitely did your part. You know, um, like you said, you don't watch so many other people give their takes, you know, but mm -hmm. some people are not gonna say what needs to be said, no matter if they're in the situation, if they know the situation, if they see it. Some people just don't want to step up. Or like I said, the way you're doing it, you're stepping into the situation and you're elaborating and giving people the truth. And because, you know, I, um, I, like I said, I didn't follow the case close, but the part that I did see, I looked at Johnny Depp and I said, wow, this guy, he just, he sit there so calmly, like he, you know, he, he, 
he's very confident that, you know, when a person haven't did nothing, you know, they can only have a confidence. You know, they can't feel bad for no one else or about something else because when you're right, you're right. And you can't go feeling bad because of someone else is feeling this way. So Johnny Depp, I think he did a very good job of handling himself. He did. You know, this is a very respectful guy. And like you said, most of all, he, he has a sense of humor. Like, that's good to see that he has a sense of humor outside his movie. Like, this is a, re, this is reality. It's the real one. Yeah. It's the real one. So, yeah, that, that right there, that, that right there get, get, gets him so much respect from me.